Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent bringing you a new Let's Play. That's right. Um, I was recommended this game, and I picked it up recently, along with a bunch of others, but in the mood for a space game, space RPG. And uh, this one got a ringing endorsement by somebody on the decks, which was un very unexpected. I didn't expect this game to be great when I was looking at it, but it seems that it pretty much is. So we are playing Space Rangers HD, A War Apart. So without any further ado, let's get into episode one and see what it's got for us. I know that intro. 1C. Now 1C Interactive, I believe. So this is a bit of a vintage game. And we've got... Elemental Games. Cool. For some reason, a fish is on the screen. Even though we're in space. CHK Games. Alright, so here we are. I don't know much about this game, uh, other than... It's a remake of Space Rangers 2, which is an older game, and this is in HD, so let's go ahead and check out the options screen. I guess we should leave this all as is. Um, cool music. Rockin'. Oh. Um, I don't know what any of this means. Full screen anti-aliasing. Anisotropic filtering. On, on. Yes, yes. Hardware, high quality. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and apply that. So it looks a bit better. Um, turn duration in space, fast. Let's just put that on normal. I don't want to move too fast. Um, planetary battles. Okay, we did that for planetary battles. How about space? Okay, we were looking at space. Extra quick save slots. Yes. Let's get three extra quick save slots. I don't know what any of this stuff means. Scrolling speed. Autopilot black holes, disable autopilot in the black holes. Yes, I've been told to put that to yes, so I'm going to do so. Music is fine. Alright, so let's go ahead and click. We've got down here text quests, planetary battles, arcade battles, and mods. We're not interested in that right now. Let's click new game. And here we are at our character select screen. So, here we have portraits. These are the races, it seems. We've got the... I'm gonna have to actually go back and turn up text size. Medium, dialogue font, medium. Oh wow, there's a lot of animations. Alright, let's try that. Let's see if that helps. It does not. Alright, so this is select the Moloch race, is that? Um And here are the different ships that they have. We have Warrior, Mercenary, Merchant, Corsair, Pirate. And we can be the Pelling race, the Pelling race, the Human race, the Fae, or the Gaul. And they each have, like, if you're a pirate in the Gaul, you get a large maneuverable ship fit for long distance travel, outdated equipment, awful reputation with Malaks, Pelings, and Feans. But if you go Fey, 
absolutely without means, not counting a huge batch of narcotics and storage, awful reputation even among own race, welcome on Paling Planets exclusively. So you get different perks, advantages, and disadvantages with each ship based on your race. So I am going to be warrior, um, mercenary, what's Corsair? Ideal ship for a bounty hunter. No money and no goods, despised by Gauls. Merchant. I'm probably going to be a merchant. Uh, I don't know. I mean, mercenary. Warrior. And you can read the different descriptions there. Um, let's try mercenary. So, the Fays get a small maneuverable ship with missile weaponry, no money in the bank, I don't want that. Gaul, small ship with excellent equipment but little firepower, decent financial status, friendly reputation with the other races. Name, Shunari. Maybe we'll be a Gaul. Like that dude right there. Let's check human. A slow, highly armored ship, equipment is old and worn, plenty of money in the bank, a massive batch of minerals and storage, excellent reputations with Malaks and Pings. Hellings. An elite combat ship designed for battling dominators, good financial status, poor reputation with all races. Excellent reputation with Pelings and humans, open hostilities with Feyans and Gauls, a ship with flawless weaponry. What's a Corsair? Very wealthy with a well equipped ship, tons of looted luxuries in storage. Poor reputation with humans and fa humans and fans. I don't know what Corsair actually means. Small maneuverable ship with good weaponry and a brand new radar. Fairly large bank account. Awful reputation with galls and palings. Poor reputation with all races. A slow ship with weak defenses equipped with an excellent gripper and droid. A small supply of alcohol and storage. An ideal ship for a bounty hunter. No money and no goods despised by galls. Huh, these seem to be in red, and these are more going towards blue. Maybe we should just be a merchant. A merchant gall? An excellent merchant ship, wanted by Malogs for unsanctioned trading of luxury goods. Some of the goods are in storage. A spacious, slow-moving, but well-equipped ship. Enough money in the bank to conduct business. Friendly reputation with all the races except for Malogs. A fairly large Palang ship, good quality equipment though fairly worn, good reputation with all races, average financial status. Um, a large solid quality hull, outdated equipment, good reputation with all races, average financial status. Um, Let's go ahead and be a human merchant. Why not? And let's pick the picture here. Go ahead and be this guy right here. And let's name him Matthew. All right, human merchant, fair enough. We're gonna play on hard. Um, difficulty rate 150%. I'm not going to get into custom difficulties. Repairs frequent. Scientists foolish. Pace spread small. Parties strong. Pirates strong. Black holes few. Yeah, I'm not going to get into that. I'm just going to play on hard. Um, starting bonuses base commerce and base accuracy we can change these i can't really hear myself talk so let me turn this down a bit base charisma base leadership let's go with base charisma and base commerce fuel tank and engine fragmentation weapons flux Missile launcher. Ch Ch 
Traiton, Gripper, Droid, Scanner, Radar, Engine, and Fuel Tank. Um, let's go with Engine and Shield Generator instead of Fuel Tank. Get those shields up. No, radar. You don't have to use shields if we can see him coming. So that looks good. Let's click continue. Volunteers, you have made the right choice by joining the glorious Ranger ranks. The military may take pride in their fancy uniforms, but in the Clisson War 300 years ago, as they suffered one defeat after another, it was the Rangers who solved the mystery of Machpella and put an end to the most terrible war in the history of this, this sector of the galaxy. The Rangers are no cannon fodder, capable only of obeying orders. Every Ranger is his own general and supply battalion. Admittedly, over the centuries, many have forgotten the Rangers' noble history and customs, but there's no better time to remind them. As you know, six years ago, the Coalition of Intelligent Races has encountered a new enemy, an enemy no less dangerous than the Clisson. They are called the Dominators and represent a new form of cyber life. As of yet, we do not know why they've begun attacking us, both on our planet and in space. Most Dominator robots only have a semblance of intelligence, so it stands to reason they're controlled by brain centers. Initially, it was believed that they had only one such center, but this presumption proved a costly mistake for the Coalition fleet at the Battle of Graugar. Now we know that there's a minimum of three such centers, each controlling its own series of Dominators. We were, able to, we were able to learn the origin of these robots and some things about their inner workings, but this information is classified. Perhaps you'll be granted access to it at a later date. Besides, now is the time for lectures. The Dominators have already captured tons of planets, and our fleet is still struggling to recover from the Graugar Massacre. But that's not all. Taking advantage of the fact that brave warriors are occupied with the robot invaders, pirates have crawled out of the woodwork as well, bending weakened coalition systems to their will. The pilot threat was shrugged off at first, but it's become painfully clear that they pose as much risk to our civilization as the Dominators. Now we find ourselves waging a two-front war, and the coalition forces remain the weakest link in the struggle. This means that Space Rangers have once again become our last hope for survival. And now the only thing keeping you from eternal glory is a medical examination. But between you and me, due to the desperate situation on both fronts, the doctors were given a secret directive to give all candidates a clean bill of health. Dismiss, soldier. I'm kind of wondering if I should have put the pirates on strong. That might be a little too much. Okay, on behalf of the on behalf of the Interstellar Coalition and the Defender Ranger Center in particular, I would like to thank all the true patriots for enrolling into the Ranger Force in this hour of hardship. We all remember that 200 years ago it was the Rangers who put an end to the Clisson War that threatened the very existence of all five coalition civilizations. That war was a lesson to us all, strengthening the unity of the Coalition. Thanks to this war, whatever misunderstandings arose in the last two centuries were resolved swiftly and peacefully. This long-standing peace was broken six years ago when unidentified aggressors attacked a science expedition from Earth in a remote star system. According to their last message, the enemy resembled the Clisson. However, the Clisson always waged combat in space, whereas the attack took place planet-side. Thus, the Coalition met a new enemy, one that looks like a mix between the Clisson and War Machines of alien design. The machines self-reproduce at a rapid pace, taking over one system after another, fighting with equal skill on planets in open space and in hyperspace. The Earthlings from the first encounter had named them Dominators. Alas, despite the heroism of our military, the attempt to crush this enemy in one fell swoop at the Battle of Graugar proved disastrous, as we suffered tremendous losses. The Dominators were able to withdraw their brain center, Blazer, from the main strike. At present, they are continuing to reproduce on unknown bases in remote space. Dire times are upon us. Alas, that's not all of it. When we threw all our troops to fight the Dominator invasion, the United Pirate Force attacked the Coalition in the back. For the first time since Rakachan, they are headed by a powerful and ambitious leader, capable of keeping those rebels and anarchists under his heel. His identity is not known to us or even the majority of low-ranking pirates. All we know is that pirates have never been as strong as they are under his command, and we are losing system after system to their control. Due to unscrupulous merchants doing business with the pirates and other such opportunists, we can't even keep full control of our front lines. Our brilliant strategists are hard at work concocting plans how to sick the pirates and the dominators against one another, but sadly nothing has worked thus far. Maybe you'll have some fresh ideas. No? Pity. 
Our situation is becoming increasingly difficult with each passing day. There are alarmists among us who claim that we are losing the war, which makes your patriotism and will to victory all the more inspiring. Can I go fight now? Would you like to complete a ranger training course first? This is a unique possibility to learn all the basics of navigation, shooting, handling cargo, and conducting trade absolutely free. Um, I want to. I'm a rookie pilot, and I would like to familiarize, my, familiarize myself with new equipment. We are happy to provide you with all knowledge that a ranger needs. Your first mission will be a simple one. Take off from the ranger center and land on your home planet of Earth. And <coughs> Excuse me. Got a tickle in my throat. An experienced instructor, instructor will be waiting you for you at the spaceport. Very good. I'm on my way. Okay, so this is our ship. Oil is okay. Fuel tank's okay. Engine's okay. Ship ready for takeoff. Ranger Matthew. Type magnate. Speed 400. 245 out of 245. Defenses. Alt attitude. Altitude excellent. Alright. Let's click that. And, um... Take off. F. Let's see what's cracking. Okay, that's us. Okay, Earth, you say. Mercury. The sun. Earth. Okay, let's not get too close to the sun. I guess I'm doing okay. Okay, I couldn't move for a second. I guess the turn was taking a while. Maybe I should put that on fast. Okay, here we are on Earth. Resident race human. 1,092 million. Economic system, industrial, political system, democracy, your reputation, excellent. Okay. Government, trade center, equipment store, information center, hangar, ship, ranger rating, galaxy map. Assets outside ship. This is a hint, a normally, an ordinary hint can be deleted by right click. Some important hints cannot be deleted until you complete or fail the related quest. To save a game, go, go to menu and press save. To load a previously saved game, press F3. So F2 will save then. Cool. All right, let's right click it. To so take off from a planet, enter a hangar and command take off. Hangers are used to repair the whole of your ship, refuel, and take off from a planet. For your convenience, a robot in the upper part of the screen will always inform the pilot about breakdowns of the ship's vital systems, whole engine, fuel tank, or absence thereof. Here, the player can also check out the other ships currently docked in the same spaceport. Mission. Report to instructor on planet Earth and complete a training course. Learn to control the camera by moving the cursor from the to one edge of the screen than the other. You can also move the camera by holding down the left mouse button and moving the cursor on the radar. By holding down the right mouse button in o on any open area of space, or by holding down the right mouse button on any open area of space. Mouse over a ship, planet, or any other significant object to display a hint with a description and characteristics of the object. To find your ship again, press the search button on the radar C. To land on a planet or station, double click on it. The ship will then head to the planet and land. Attention all, a new business center called Lucrative Trade is officially opened in the Canopus system. All galaxy maps will be automatically updated with a new location. To speak with the government, click on the government menu or press G on your keyboard. <clears throat> okay, complete a training course. Hangar. Information center. <clears throat> I 
Hmm. Okay. We'll have to take note of that soon. Let's see if we can turn... Where's the options? Help settings. Turn duration, let's go ahead and make that fast. Okay, I'm here. And turn. Government. Aha, welcome, uh, welcome Cadet Matthew. I will be your instructor and that's what everybody calls me, instructor. We will start with a simple mission. You must learn the basics of trade. There are cheap meds for sale at the therapist medical base. While planet Venus is being ravaged by an epidemic, so their populace is buying up meds in large quantities. Buy low, sell high. Help the needy and make a pretty penny while you're at it. They report back here. There are cheap meds for sale at the therapist medical base. And then go to Venus. Commencing with my mission, instructor, sir. Isn't this the therapist? Okay, let's go to the hangar. I think it took me to the hangar for a reason. Okay, I have to buy medical supplies from... Somewhere. Medical Therapist Center, okay. Okay, there's me. Let's come here. Whoa. Let's come here. Dear Matthew, we are happy to welcome you at our medical base. We have information that you've arrived to purchase a batch of medications for planet Venus, which is currently suffering an epidemic. Visit our trade center to procure everything you need. Visit the trade center. Buy medical supplies for 27 credits. Okay, how many? Where's my credits? And what is this? 20. For 540, 19 for 513, 567. Okay, it's saying buy 20, so I'll buy 20. Um, I don't know what I just did. Pushed a button. Don't ever push a button. An epidemic is devastating planet Venus. Hurry, Matthew. Very good. I'm on my way. Venus. Right there. Hmm. One thing about this game is every ranger in the game is its own unique entity. The game does not revolve around you. It is actually all the rangers in the universe do their own thing. To go to the Trade Center, click the Trade Center menu button to press T on your keyboard. The Trade Center window is divided into two parts. On the left side is a list of available goods and their prices, prices on this particular planet. On the right are the goods in your cargo bay and the prices at which you can sell them. Some of the goods might have a thumbs up symbol next to them. When on the left side, it means that the purchase price is good, i.e. cheap. When on the right side, which displays the contents of your cargo bay, it means that selling the merchandise is to your advantage. Sale price is higher than purchase price. Clicking on an item on the left side of the window will bring up the purchase window. Clicking on an item on the right side of the window will bring up the sell window. MC Therapist. Medical Supplies. Legality, yes. Okay, so let's go to the Trade Center. Um... I guess that's a thumbs up there. 
sell 20 for a thousand. Booyah. Big thumbs up on Technics, it looks like. Is that a thumbs up? Let me look. I have to move closer to my screen. Something fell and I don't know what it is. Big thumbs up here. Um, I'd like to know how many credits I have. Can you tell me how many credits I have somehow? Oh, 1530. And I have 20 space available on ship. Got it. So let's buy... Big thumbs up. So let's buy... 15 Technics. And let's get out of here. Now what? Oh, did I just get hit by a m something? I did. Okay, what's my mission? Purchase... Report back to the instructor on planet Earth. Okay. I can do that. I don't want to get too close to the sun. I was playing a little bit off camera just to kind of get the hang of things and... The sun was not my enemy. I mean, the sun was not my friend. It burned up my ship pretty good. So you've got to be careful not to hit space rocks. There's a little moon. Alright, report back to the instructor. Government. Fine Ranger needs fine training, Matthew. Now that you've learned the basics of trade, it's time for more difficult missions. We have placed a training asteroid in outer space. Your mission is to take off, seek out, and destroy the target. Then collect all the scattered minerals and sell them at our trade center when you get back. Get to it. Gauging target, instructor, sir. But first... I want to go to the trade center. We got a thumbs up on these. I can make a quick 300 credits. It's maybe not what I was expecting. Let's hang on to them for now. Um, all right, taking off. Seeking out an asteroid. This bad boy? Dummy asteroid serves to help pilots learn to shoot, contains some minerals. Okay, I've sought it out. Oh, I've moved right up to it. What exactly am I doing here? Am I mining it? Scan ship, show hide weapons, contact ship, flight history, ship, ranger rating, galaxy map. Oh, to approach an asteroid, double click next to it. The ship will then fly to the chosen spot. To destroy an asteroid, go to the weapons menu and press W on your keyboard. Having chosen a weapon, select a target and press end turn. If the weapon's range is too small, close in on the object. To fire all weapons without going to the weapons menu, Press tilde on your keyboard. Information from the Ufali system has ceased to flow into the global info field. SOS was the last signal received, transmitted on all frequencies. Evidently, the system of Sector Zonder is now under dominated control. Not good to hear. Okay, we've got a industrial laser. Target locked. End turn. Blew it up. Didn't hurt our ship. 
Now we've got minerals. So we just fly over these bad boys. Oh, hints. To pick up minerals cargo, you must be in the immediate proximity of them. When you mouse over a mineral, the cursor will change to a hand and a pickup radius will be drawn around the ship. Click on the minerals you want to pick up, making the selected minerals with the hand icon, then press enter and spacebar, and the ship will pick up the minerals within the pickup radius. To collect the remaining minerals, you must move closer to them. If you double click on a specific mineral, the ship will automatically move closer and pick it up. Make sure you have sufficient space in your cargo bay. If an object is big and doesn't fit in the available space, you'll not be able to pick it up. Also, you'll not be able to pick up an object without a gripper if the gripper is not powerful enough. To find out if your ship's equipped with a gripper and its capacity, open the ship window. This window displays all of your property. Mouse over an item to see its properties. You can also ma manipulate items. Pick up the engine and move it into the cargo bay. Close the ship window. You will discover that you cannot fly. To fix the problem, reopen the ship window and return the engine to its original position. Alright, so I'm using the, these shortcuts. Ship S. Alright, where's my gripper? Activating gripper. Can pick up objects up to 40 units inside with a radius, radius of 100. Alright, so to pick up these minerals... I don't understand. I click... Pick up and end turn. Oh, 17 space. I don't have 17 space. So I've got to head back to Earth. To the Trade Center. And dump these bad boys off. Making much less. But it's better than what I bought them for. Alright, so let's go pick up some minerals. <clears throat> Here's some minerals. 8 worth 96. 17 worth 204. 9 worth 108. 4 worth 48. I think these 8 are worth picking up. Are we picking them up? Yay! No? Did we pick them up? Okay, now it's locked on. There we go. We've picked up the minerals. Um, what's our next mission? Report back to the instructor who was on Venus or was it Earth? I guess it was Earth. We picked up some minerals anyway. Excellent cadet. You've done an outstanding job with this mission. Now you can sell the minerals you've bought you've brought at our trade center. Thus, without so much as a dime to your name, you can earn yourself a small fortune. But let's see how you handle the next mission. So your next objective is to make a hyper jump to the Cephron system and land on planet Uppsala Vega. There you will need to refuel and follow the instructions of my colleague from the local government. Very good, I'm on my way. Let's uh, hit the trade center. Sell these bad boys for 36 credits. Um, anything I can buy here? Not really. Um, but I'm actually gonna save here. F2. And call this episode 1 of Let's Play Space Rangers HD A War Apart. I wanna thank you guys for joining me as always. Um, hope you stay tuned for more. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm interested to play this game. It's very cool. So I will see you next time. Much love, peace, and joy, and I'm out. So long.